Oh man, you ain't gonna believe it. Pit Tour, first race of the season for RC Unlimiteds up here in Washington State. We are in beautiful Finley, Washington. The race course is awesome. We have an electric out there right now. Oh, that's a new one. That, that's a uh, 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 lobster boat. We'll, we'll get you a look at that one here uh, in a little bit when it comes in. Okay, so hang in there. Brand new, super cool, built from the uh, Bracket Shop, which uh, builds unbelievably awesome boats. But yes, 2022. Really, is 2022? Yeah, can you believe it's 2022? Anyway, we're going racing. Starting over here with the Coors Electric. Couple batteries in the front. Look at this, see you got your alternate spot here, right? You can shift the weight just a little bit. So you get the balance of the boat just right. That's kind of a really cool feature of electric boats where you can shift them batteries just a tiny bit and improve or destroy your boat ride, as the case may be. Hey, you know what? I want to be able to print motors and I don't have a file for it. If any of you guys have an STL file or know where I can get an STL file, I'll start producing those because I know that uh, one of the main producers of scale motors is no longer doing it. That would be the Scale 3D, I want to say Jim Stevens, I think was his name. And uh, haven't heard from him in a long time. Certainly wish him well. Um, but uh, maybe he just got out of it. I don't know. But look at that. that that's cool, man. Old Super Test 10th scale. Come on. Look at the detail. Can you see it? It's got, it's got all the what screws in it. It's got it, it, I don't know. Were they supposed to be brass? They're tarnished brass. Look at this. This thing. If you were standing right here, it's weird. It's hard to look at. It, it kind of wigs your eyeballs out. The old smoother mover. Looks like something was a little less than smooth right here. The the warmer smoother mover. That's sweet. I wonder if it's an old hull and was a nitro or something and got hot. Who knows? Boy, we had one get hot yesterday. Oh my gosh. New and beautiful Miller American, a Don Mock, caught fire out on the race course. Nothing you could do but watch. The Verners, many, many times winner, champion, etc., etc. Kirk, what happened last year? You didn't win the championship. I was like, what? What just happened? <laughs> Thrashing on race day, see? You know. this, is my old, this is my old, old 97. Oh, this is the old boat. Yeah, we've had retirement. <laughs> 90, was it built in 97? 96. Oh my gosh. You ever tallied up its wins? No. Just for fun, no? <laughs> Stupid number. I really kind of don't want to know. Performance. We have, we have something for you in the midst of your picture. Check pizza. this out. Breakfast is breakfast. here. Oh, hey. Breakfast. It's not breakfast in bed. It's breakfast not in bed. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Right on. Thank you very much. It'll be in your pit area. Thank you. Hey, Jeff. Could we look underneath? Does it just lift? Or maybe... Well, I'll let you... Pull it open for me. This is a Jeff Snell Budweiser. Uh, just builds phenomenal boats. And, uh, oh, this is screwed on back here? Okay. I wanted to try to show. Okay. Just show you guys kind of what we go through here to make these things look scale. We want to get the exhaust underneath the deck. No venting. You see, he built. Uh, the rails, put the rails in at an angle. The motor tilts a little bit. Pipe fits up underneath, no problem. Look at that. This is custom tune right here, by the way. That's how you that's how you get the tune just perfect. Oh look at this here. Um yeah, would it just well I don't wanna Yeah, alright, yeah, let's take a look. There it goes, we got this side's going. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that steering servo all the way in the back. Let's get that. Look at that. Super simple, super lightweight. And you're
your steering is so positive, it's surprising what you lose in a big long rod. Yeah, that's why I did that. Yeah, yeah, and no I got doubt. Tired of the sloppy steering feel to the right, boat. right, right. I couldn't watch it. Yep, yep. Yep, tiniest movement and you're moving. That's beautiful. Yeah, but look at the finish on this thing. Doesn't that, doesn't that make you sick, guys, that can do that? Oh, yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm avoiding the fish eyes. I, 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 <laughs> All right, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate the tour. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Come on. Yeah. All right, let's keep moving. I hear boats running. I know you want to see them. Check this out. David, I think David Ramirez, I think. Uh, quite a collector. Uh, has just kind of gathered up so much memorabilia. Look at this. Legit. And signed by Dave himself in 1990. Unbelievable. This, it, you guys probably know, this would be right here on the real boat. An adjustable tiplet here, but this is just filled in complete, obviously, on the scale. But look at how gorgeous. Oh my gosh. And of course, you got your Budweiser gear, little Alberto swag. Check this out. This is going to blow your mind. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Golly. And on a bad race day, you cover up this part, and then it just says, cuss, cuss. <laughs> okay, not funny? Hey. hey, if you can do better, by golly, get right on it. Oh, what beautiful boats. Dude, this, I've actually thought about doing this. I hate having stuff sitting on the outside, but magnets are heavy. You know, I use magnets on mine, and this weighs nothing. Something to think about. Oh, here we go. Another brand new boat. This Mike, Mike, what's your last name? Henriksen. Henriksen. Mike Henriksen, brand new boat, brand new driver in RC Unlimited. It's got qualified just yesterday. So you'll see this one racing today. I've thought about building this one a lot. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I like to build the old automotive powered boats. I don't know why, it's just a thing. And I'd always thought about doing this one, and now here it is, so too late. <laughs> his first time build, his first time ever painting, and it's just fantastic. Oh, it, yeah, I know what prop that is. Let's take a look over here. Oh, yeah, Mark. More gassers. We, we're getting a ton of gassers running up here. And the really disappointing part of that is they're all getting really super fast. God dang it. No, oh, Jimmy. Congratulations, Jimmy. Most improved driver. Thank you, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but I got it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, I think it's because you started going all zippity doo fast last year. Oh, that looks familiar. I got to quit showing everybody my secrets. You know me, I beautiful I setup. Them, beautiful <laughs> setup, my man. I got one of your other secrets over here on this. Do you now? I didn't know I had any more. I probably won't even be able to pick it out now. Oh see that's not that's not me right there. I know, I know it's beautiful. You know, I mean it gives it that true scale appearance, but I hold that in my hand and I go, golly, that weighs like, you know, a gram and a half. I can't put that on. <laughs> here's, a, here's a nice trick right here, taped rear deck. Must have, uh, must have lost the deck at some point. Beautiful setup. Oh, attaboy. There you go. I didn't have room to fit it in my boat. My engine well is so deep it wouldn't fit. Oh, well, that thing is awesome. Okay, this is the way to go right here. If you're going to run a solid drive, the stuffing tube is mounted in silicone so it can move around, right? But it's affixed to the motor. So any vibration in the motor, you're not causing a 
deflection here in that wire drive. Because right here, if you guys have ever tried to run these, they, they will break um, right here at the end of the collet if you have too much movement in that motor. And these gas motors just jump around like raging beasts, man. So this way, perfect alignment all the time. No breaky breaky. Beautiful. That's available from Brent Byers. Um, look down in the description of this video. I will put uh, his email there and you can contact the manufacturer of that directly. Uh, automotive. Look at that. Gosh, that's nice. Boy, these guys just go all kind of crazy on their detail. I see what you're doing. I mean, I, I try to take my, make my stuff look good, but uh, some guys just are a whole new level. Like, look at the finish on this thing. Of course, it's first race of the year. I mean, these things can change. I always got a kick out of this boat back in the day, and I thought, oh, it'd be kind of fun to build, but uh, gee whiz, all the tape work, paint work. At some point, you start wanting things a little simpler. Bud, malt liquor. A little tenth scale. Golly, isn't it cool to see all this old stuff? Kind of comes back to life running here. Oh, here we go, some awesome toys. Look at that little tin scale. I'm gonna have to edit that out. You realize oh, no. that, Rich? Oh, wow. <laughs> well, that's he's placing. Uh, oh, okay. Home Street Bank. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Look at this. Can you see it? Look at that. Oh, is this Paxton's boat? No, that's Paxton's oh, boat. That's Paxton. Oh, okay. Well, let's. I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I wish he was here. I feel so bad for the poor kid. One of our top guys, he's sicker than heck, so he's not here. No, he doesn't have COVID. He's just got a flu or something. Look at that. I think I've shown you this guy's before, but look, look, at, look at all that room. Oh, you can just go crazy in there. Right, this guy's running an adjustable needle. I, I, I did that once. And I stopped doing it. I just don't like the extra weight, extra addition of stuff. Tune it on the dock, man. Plus, I had one more thing to think about when I was on the water, and uh, and that messed with my head big time. Good old CMB boy, just ballistic fast motors. Here's how that. Yeah, just big old cowling. Flop it over the top of the whole thing. This is, this is kind of brilliant here. There must be some pretty good structure inside there just to keep the thing rigid. Moving on, what else do we got here? Holy beer, Joey Keynes. One of his very few races he'll probably be running here this year. He moves to Florida, caddy corner across the country tomorrow. Of course, this is my pit here. That's my sandwich right there getting cold. All for you. Because my sandwich is freezing, you go down and click like right now. I mean, give me a break. If I'm going to eat cold food, the least you can do is like me. Uh, that's kind of my new thing this year. But uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, I, I show a lot more about the rebuild of this boat. The whole right side was knocked off in the last race last year. And uh, so I put her back together. And golly, it's fast. Scares the heck right out of me. Okay, my other boat is my gasser. You might notice there's no wings on it. Okay, so I went up and over, knocked them both clean off, and they sunk. No lie, man. I I checked them. When I lay them up, before I hook the halves together, I put foam inside, and it's just enough to keep them bobbing on the water, right? What I didn't do is check them with the struts attached, and the struts went with them. Sank. Yeah. Sucks to be me. Anyway, I got the mold. I'll build new wings. It's all good. Oh, it's fast. Oh, it's fast. Where we go next? Oh, Henry Ort. Hang on, let me get the grease off. Henry Ort. This is your NAMBA champion right here. And yeah, you can't have any grease on it. Let, wait, let, let me let me zoom in on that. There. No! Okay. <laughs> this, this thing, I don't know what, I don't know what Henry did, but uh, rocket ship. Secrets. Super secret. I'll never I'm gonna, tell. I'm going to check them right now. I'm going to, and there it is. That's oh, I think I can. I think the lettering is up right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now you know. Prop Works West. Give them a call. Last call. 
Last call for registration. Look at this, how Henry rolls. Oh, Henry, there's an Allen wrench out of place right here. Uh-oh, Dave must have been here. <laughs> <laughs> there's probably truth to that. Nice electric, Miss Houston. Pardon me? No, I was, I was hoping I'd uh, run into him as I was walking around. Got to run. You didn't find Marty Schallenberger? No, not yet. Calling all Marty Schallenbergers. This is... Uh, down there. Well, I was just there. I'll go over there again. This is a, a hull. I shouldn't even tell you this out of the Brant camp. I, I don't think you can call them and ask for one. I don't think it's that kind of deal. Uh, it takes a ton of work to build one of these. Uh, but this, wow, what a super duper proven design. These things are just awesome. There's a number of them running now. Uh, and he's laying up more as we speak. Tons of room to work. Beautiful little setup. Floor mount, so you have no big rails. Awesome. Speedy printing, this is another one of those hulls. Brand new one, I believe. And the first time on the water, it was just crazy fast. Mini time champion right here. He was hashing and thrashing, as you can see. I mean, there's always spare parts laying around David's camp, and you think, oh, he's screwed today, and then he goes out and wins the race. So you start getting used to that at some point. Not really. Quite partial to this one here. This was my nitro boat that uh, ran really well for me and converted it to electric and sold it to Bill, and now it uh, kicks butt in the electric division. It eliminates. Or you can get it later, it doesn't matter. Look at this beauty. See that beauty right there? Yeah, and the boat looks nice too. <laughs> yeah, beautiful Alberto. Another one of those guys that lays down beautiful paint. Which I hate. Let's check out Jason's Pringles. Jason was uh, a rookie of the year, right? Woo! Rookie Scott, of the Scott year Myers last Memorial year. Trophy. <laughs> you got the Scott Myers Memorial. <laughs> well, maybe you'll get that someday. You, yeah, you were <laughs> you won Rookie of the Year. Maybe you'll get that one. So, no, I, I don't believe I ever did. I think you did. No, I think uh, no, 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 I didn't. I, no, I don't. I don't think so. It was Mike's name I saw. Him, no, Mike Malloy. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, and I beat you. Yeah. Well, go get it, man. Is it, is Scott's on there, isn't he? Well, he was eight at the time. Did you feel better? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's not a pushover anymore. This is your Gold Cup champion, Jeffrey Grimbowski. Oh yeah. Okay, so I so I beat on an eight-year-old kid and got rookie of the year. I didn't even remember that. That was so long ago. They come, they come back. And but get now, you though, right? yeah, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gorgeous nitro there. And this thing, man, I think I've showed you this one before. This is so nice. Lake Ridge paving. Look at that. <laughs> Gary Grimbowski, the champion's father, let's say, always keeps this thing so nice. Okay, this is, uh, this is a test. This is only a test. Where are we at now? Notre Dame. Very nice. Well, we'll go ahead and take a look at the go-fast stuff. Okay. Three blade. Looks like that thing's been cupped up, boy. Woo! Okay, so there's the Tin Man right there. Got a new heart. <laughs> Look at that, come on. Oh, here you go, you wanna see detail? Check it out, man. Even did the little inset on the sponsors. Very nice. Okay, this boat, if you've looked at Chris Denslow's uh, images, was burnt to a crisp yesterday. No. This is not the boat that was burnt to a crisp? You wanna see that boat? Was the other boat? Oh, we should show that boat. This is the original, the replica version. 
Is the trailer open right up here? Yeah, it's right there. Let me show you what happens when the uh, speed controller loses its mind. Let's hear it for Myers Auto Tech, a local business here actually, but they sponsor our series even as we travel. It's awesome. Okay, this is gonna make some of you guys really sad. It makes everybody really sad. Yowza. Did you ever really determine, was it the speed controller, the speed controller that, controller. that let go? Because yeah. the batteries come out looking fine, yeah. right? Yeah. Well, they were the casings were melted, so they're no good, but it wasn't uh, Right. Bad. But they, they got smoking hot because it got all shorted yeah. out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They also burn up the uh, receiver. Oh, yeah, the yeah. That fire was... followed the wiring into the radio box. Yeah. yeah. But this thing was throwing, thank you, Rich, was throwing big flames. And you know, you never had the slowest row of your life trying to get to a boat that's on fire out there. And Don finally got to it. He just grabbed it, flipped it over, you know. And you can't mess with it when it's burning like that. Oh, check it out. Two championship boats right here in the same pit. John Olson's last year's gas champion. This is no bull, this is real mahogany decking okay there's no wrap this is uh this is john just being john amazing champion champion nitro boat is that crazy or what gosh he's tough man this one uh this one didn't get the attention the gas boat did this guy uh what do you do, you know, right? You break a beautiful mahogany deck. How on earth are you going to splice that? And I can see he glued it up as best he could. And I'm sure he'll pull the skins off and redo it at some point. But that's just really unfortunate. Meanwhile, fast thing ever. Oh, here's what I told you about. Remember we saw this one on the water a minute ago? Fred Stock and the Winston Eagle. Welcome back, Fred. Thank you. Awesome. Are you pleased? I didn't really get a chance to see ah, it run much. a little much. under... Uh... The wheel's a little light. She's real did come in yeah. very hot. It was cool. So okay. and, and slow. But you know, the fingers need some some time. <laughs> the fingers need a little tune up. Yeah. yeah, no, I know. I know. So yeah. You do this for a couple decades box. and you're still like, yeah, uh, uh, still kinda rusty. Well yeah, it's look at when you haven't run very much. You can run and I haven't. Let's get a let's get a look at that. Difference. Look at that. The green one? I mean, come on. Let me see. Oh, so the wire is actually your hinge? Yeah, this and, and you'd untape this and pull the wire out. Yeah, you can use it to remove it. And the tip that comes off. Yeah, exactly. Underneath there's set screws. And then you, you do that, you pull it out, and it come, it, you pull the whole unit out. Dude, that's just slicker than snot, man. Yeah. Servo's right there, just a little mini servo. Batteries go here. Batteries just strap in right there. Run a dry, try to run a dry box. Got a lot here. of angle on that on the turn bin. I think it's a little too much. Boy, it does. The next, the next one, it starts to want to lift. So yeah, I I've, I've got to, I've got to find it in between. Probably build a new bracket. Wow. Yeah, I've never really successfully gone there. Because of it. But oh, it, it would pinch. be. It yeah. Pinch, so. I, I live with it for today. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> so yeah. I'll figure it out. You know all those. Yeah. Things. Run. Do the best you can. Survive. Yeah. Tweak this, what it this, needs and then go. It's only ran about ten times. So. Yeah. And it's never raced, right? No, at, at Columbia Cup. Oh, it did? Okay, okay. Gorgeous. Let's get a, let's get a quick look on over here at the cow. That's the, that's the, the pretty stuff. Isn't that awesome? This is, this is the only, this is part. Nice tube, nice work. Yeah, that was all, the bra that's all Ms. Bob Brackett. Bob Brackett. This right here is Troy McIntyre. It was off of his old boat. And he was really? Decided we put one put one piece of his. When did Troy on. pass away? That's been. It's 06, I believe. 06. November of 05 or six. Yeah. That's a that's an original Troy McIntyre part. Right there. How awesome the rest is of it's that? Bob. Look at this. Can you guys see what he did here? And then he just used a real thin piece of glass to to create the shape, and then stuck. Looks like aluminum tape, right? Or, it, well, or, it's monaco. I Mon believe. Okay, yeah, okay, you, yeah, monaco. It's awesome. shiny. Yeah. And, and then it, this this it weighs was, nothing. Yeah, it doesn't weigh much at all. That's awesome. And this uh, this piece was was formed out of the uh, it we the plug was made out of Troy's original plug. Oh, look at you guys! And Come so on, he did that. That was all Bob did. It. I did it. <laughs> nothing on it. The only thing I did was rearrange the hardware. Rearrange the hardware and grab the stick and say, "Wahoo!" Say, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. You want to see fast? I'm going to show you fast. Paul Jackson's pit. Paul Jackson. I'm going to show you something about Paul. Won the Sportsmanship Award. You're not going to find a nicer guy. What a good dude. Super fast, but a gentleman racer. Man, he'll run you hard like you should, but he will not take you out. Awesome. Maybe we're going to see some boats run. Miss US, we're in Steve Kinney's pits. Hi, Steve, by the way. I know we haven't had a chance to visit yet. That's a beautiful Miss US. Look how clean. He ran with us a little bit last year, and this year he's going in big. Oh, I did not know. I did not know you were keeping a secret from me. We got a CMB gasser going on here. They're tall. I don't. How on earth did you fit that underneath the cowling? I got a big cowling. You must. Dropped it in an engine well to get it down. And then, okay. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, that's about the only thing you could do. Yeah, otherwise you'd have a huge belly pan. Yeah, yeah. Re reason being, I don't know if you guys are aware, that the CMB is a lot taller than your Zenoa or your Quick Draw or, or uh, you know, Gizmo, any of those motors. Um, they're Zenoa based and heavier. Yeah, they are heavy. Pound and a half heavier. My goodness. Look at that carburetor. We are not screwing around. It looks really sexy. If nothing else, does it run good? What is it? A Tillotson. I think I need that. It's huge. What? This this big giant Tillotson car. I know, isn't that cool? I feel some testing coming on. <laughs> awesome. Did I show you this one? We're in a 10 scale pits here now. Beautiful Budweiser. There you go. That's it. Get you some. See what we got back here. It's like little plastic props. I think I think they might be required to run that prop if I remember right. St. Regis. How long has it been since you heard anything about the St. Regis? Where are we at now? Oh, Fred Olson. I'm not I'm not gonna say it again. Normally I would say this is the world's fastest round nose, but I'm not gonna bring that up anymore. You're tired of hearing me say it, but it's true. <laughs> <laughs> CMB, just nice clean installation. Look at that. Simple. Don't complicate it. Beautiful paint. Really looks cool on the water. Real low profile cowl and stuff on it. Right a pan pack. Another beautiful machine. If you've never painted this boat, you've never painted. So I'll tell you what, this is a pain. I, I did a version of this one time. And, and Fred's like me, you know, you don't use pinstripe, man. You tape all this off. Oh, dude. You tape half your life away, you know, a couple days. And then you shoot the black, you know, boop, boop, done. <laughs> Peel it off and tape it again. Ah, what else do we got? Oh, here's that Charlie's girl I was telling you about. Brand new driver, brand new boat. Let's watch it. By brand new driver, I mean new in our club. He's run a lot of boats. Who do I got here? Oh, that's David Brandt giving chase in a nitro. Told you it was fast. Look at that. And David's boats are rock solid. Oh, he is strumming. And there goes Paul Jackson. We're going to have us a boat race here in a minute, even in practice. Might not be the smartest thing to do. Oh, Paul gave way. <laughs> he said, no, I'm out. That's the smart thing to do.
Okay, David's gonna do a practice start here, I guarantee it. Where'd he go? I can't see him in the frame. Oh, it died. Oh, it died. Paul's gonna hit a start. I mean, it didn't bang up on the plane. Elbow right it, turn, lane one. Sorry about that. I'm standing right by the speaker. Test, 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 test. Uh, I can hear you, Jeffrey. Uh, I, I didn't, I could never even caught up to it. Dang it. I'll see if I can get it this time. Attaboy, Paul. Listen, listen, he'll never, ever lift. Oh, well, until he's shutting it down. Paul will go into that corner, full tilt. Never roll off, no matter what. draws are posted up at the front table. We'll go over them in the driver's meeting as well. But if you want to take an early look, come on up. David doing a rare paddle out onto the pond. I think I got them all, you guys. I'll try to catch you some racing throughout the day, okay? All right. Catch you later. Wish me luck or something close to it.